Hello, my gorgeous Aquarius Collective. I have been waiting to do this message for y'all for a minute. Thank you for being patient. After this message, I'm also going to be dropping a reading for Sagittarius. So if you happen to have that fire placement or the element in general in your astrology chart or wherever that resonates for you, you can go ahead and tap into that, okay? Holy Spirit, guide me for the aquas today, my Aquarius beauties, and let's go ahead and see what we have for them. May this reading resonate with those it is meant to find. Anyone else, may they only take what resonates from the beginning, middle, or end. And may this reading be entirely protected by a golden white light and a 12D shield that extends far into the cosmos and the ethers. Ashe. And so we may begin. Let's go ahead and see what we got for the Aquarius. I'm going to use my Hunter's Oracle deck. We're going to get some, some energies, general energies. Look, already. And then we're going to see what the vibe is for you. So we got something about letting go. You're in a time of letting people go, letting jobs go, letting old timelines go. It says flow and it says natural movement. Beautiful. I'm also getting siren energy. You could be a person who's naturally beautiful or you have a naturally beautiful aura. You could be someone who attracts a lot of masculines to you for sure. Or you could be a masculine here who attracts a lot of feminines to you. Like you don't have any problem with secret admirers or people who love you people who like you people who are extremely attracted to you especially at this time i'm getting this energy that y'all are magnetically moving into a phase in life where you're attracting everything you've ever put effort into so there's something about flow at this time it says the river queen 36 breaks down to a nine so you could be seeing lots of nines at this time you're breaking cycles and earning confidence and independence naturally because it says natural movement. You got a way of flowing with life that's very organic. You're authentic. You already know this, Aquarius. You already know. You're authentic to the bone. That's what I heard. Something about March 6th could be very, very important. Not sure what that date is coming up for, but some of y'all might resonate with that date, okay? Only take what resonates. This is a broad collective message, but if you want a personal reading, for a limited time only, I'm offering 50% off. That has never been a thing for me. So Spirit guided me to be generous with that and I want to offer half off, period. We got the Phoenix. Wow, you could be an Aquarius who's dating a Scorpio, an Aquarius who's around a Scorpio, or you have some type of energy that you are working with, fixed energy here, as well as the Scorpio energy is coming up with the Phoenix, right? Something about February 9th. February 9th could be very significant to y'all as well. Yep. The Phoenix says resurrection, surrender to change. Exactly. But see, what I'm getting is that as you're letting go and you're naturally moving with life, you are resurrecting in this new vibration because everything old is leaving your paradigm, your old timeline. Everything new is coming in. Emphasis on everything new. Beautiful. There's something about you rising into leadership and you could be changing your entire aura, body, mental body, physical body, emotional body. Like you're, you're, you're doing what must be done in order to accept this change. So be proud of yourself because trust me, for any fixed sign, I have Aquarius placements as well. It can be difficult to accept change when you're so used to pouring your heart into a routine, right? But when spirit divinely intervenes it could be for reasons that you will know later on but you gotta trust and have faith it's for a reason that the change is positive okay even if it feels like fire it's building something within you and burning off anything that doesn't serve you this is just what i'm picking up on only take it if it's yours okay the keeper of the scales exactly march 8th could be significant to y'all again here a lot of march march 6 march 6 and march 8th are coming through and february 9th we have the keeper of the scales, fairness and balance, Libra energy. You could be a Libra here. You could be an Aquarius with Libra placements, lots of air, right? So you can struggle with anxiety, having lots of air placements, but this is actually gonna be transmuted into a superpower. You're gonna learn how to help others cure their own anxiety by curing your own, right? As you move through this dense energy, you're going to learn how to work with the things that you used to call problems and issues are going to become superpowers and talents and skills. This is really cool. 444 as I say that. This is your year of evolving. I'm going to put year of evolving. Wow. On all levels. And I just heard money. 
Some of y'all are going to be blessed with money. Whether someone blesses you, whether you work hard on an idea and it actually does really well, or whether you're already seeing this money flow in. It says, the wise woman of Wonderland, integrity and compromise, 21. Now we, So we have February 9th. We have February 1st, right? We have March 8th and March 6th coming through. It says integrity and compromise. I'm picking up on this energy of new beginnings. We see a mushroom here, right? So there's something about, I heard antibacterial. It's like everywhere you go, you have this spiritually antibacterial aura. So anything, it's like you're allergic to bullshit. You're allergic to fake. You're allergic to phony. You're allergic to lies. You're allergic to deceit. You sneeze around the evil. <laughs> that's, that's your ability. Like you can, you're immune to this bullshit. Page of Pentacles, Page of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be messing with a lot of people at this time who are very immature, who are spying on you because they are watching you glow up and they're like, oh wow, I should have been friends with Aquarius. I should have not treated them that way. I'm watching how they're growing now. I could have been on their corner. And Aquarius, unfortunately for them, you're going to be saying, exactly, stay on the sidelines and watch me run this play. Period. That's a football analogy for those that play sports. We do have Queen of Cups. So Aquarius, you're tapping into your heart chakra and you're really working with this heart chakra portal to manifest your desires. This is the year that your desires come into fruition. For sure. Aquarius. Page of Cups. Yeah, you're dealing with a lot of immature energy around you or this could be you take this as this resonates you know your ish and i know aquariuses are real with themselves that's why y'all always grow and you're for the most part emotionally stable right for a lot of you you are in this energy or have this ability to be emotionally stable because you've dealt with a lot of immaturity it's like the more immature situations you enter that you have entered i mean you have learned a lot and your intuition picks up on the bullshit from a mile away but for the page of swords page of cups here and the page of wands that have come through there's definitely a lot of youngins around you maybe young kids too this could be another message of just having a lot of young kids a lot of youth around you or young boys young masculines as well because these are all young masculines here you could have three kids you could have three siblings you could have three people in your family that are all young you're young and they're young right energy we got taurus capricorn here Four of Pentacles, you're building something. You're building something heavily. You could be seeing 444 or 414 or 404. Lots of fours. You're building a stability that feels spiritual. It doesn't feel practical and, and physical anymore. 808 as I say that. You're building an empire from within, truly. This is that resurrection phoenix energy you're coming into. Cancer coming through with the Six of Cups. You could be reflecting on the past and spirit is giving you intuitive nudges to make certain changes, right? As you move forward, yeah, Eight of Pentacles. You're working on something here, mastering a craft, mastering an ability, maybe started a new job or at this new job that you maybe already are at. You're working your ass off to prove to yourself, I deserve this new opportunity and I'm glad I got it, but it's time to work. It's time to pour in what I'm good at into this, right? This could be only resonant for some of you, right? Take what resonates and the parts that don't are literally just for other people. That's all it means. Yeah, my light is on a timer and when it dims out, just know that that's why. Look, we have cards that wanna come out. You have High Priestess poking out in reverse. You're probably not trusting your intuition at this time. And Spirit says, trust in your intuition. That's what the Page of Cups can insinuate when it's in reverse. So I am getting a reversal type of energy. It doesn't have to be in reverse for me to psychically see it. Remember that, okay? I'm getting this energy that Spirit's been trying to warn you of something for some of you or give you information as a precaution. Even if you want to take it lighter, right? Warning has such a negative connotation. People be like, ah! It's just a warning. Remember, warning comes before destruction. You're only warned so you can take that exit out. So listen to your intuition. You can see this cup as knowledge. Knowledge of the heart, 
knowledge from your gut, knowledge from the heart chakra, don't ignore it, right, is what I'm hearing. You could be holding on to something from the past for sure, or you're letting go of something from the past. This is what you're being guided to do, right? Surrender to change. <laughs> Surrender to change is what it says. I'm going to write that. Surrendering to change. Perfect. This message is very clear. And you're creating balance. When you surrender, it's like in the now moment, you're just accepting what is, right? Even if it's not beautiful like you want it, you're just accepting, okay, this is what my bank account looks like. This is what this looks like. This is what my work environment looks like. Where do I adjust? How can I make my, my everyday routines adjust to this reality that I want to manifest by the day? Because you're doing it. You're literally already doing it. We've got the Hermit. You could have Virgo placements here. For sure. We've got the number nine. Remember I say you could be seeing nines. We have number nine, Major Arcana, coming through. You're going within here, reflecting on the past, reflecting on relationships. Six of Cups also speaks of people who you've known for a very long time. You could be truly reflecting on those that support you. Because I, I feel this energy that you're being heavily supported. Yeah, your energy just came out. King of Swords, Aquarius here. Wow, and notice look, Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So I'm speaking to Aquariuses and Libras here, or Aquariuses with Libra placements. With this Knight of Swords, I'm going to put both of these out together. With that Knight of Swords and that King of Swords here, they both have yellow swords, and the King of Swords has a yellow gown. So this represents the solar plexus. It's like you're really getting clear insights of what your purpose is, how to move forward, and what should what should be what you should be detaching from at this time some of you are detaching from the internet detaching from emails detaching from constantly using technology and you're going to go within and enter more of an earth element when it comes to grounding right this is virgo this is taurus capricorn so definitely earth element for sure by going within you're learning how to ground and stabilize your inner emotions because you could be a person that doesn't really express them right away you take a while before you decide how you want to feel right 12 22 on the clock so something about 222 you're stepping into a phase where your decisions are affecting your reality instantly this is why you're getting very very serious on what you're cutting off what you're impulsively going into and impulse impulsivity doesn't have to be a bad thing by the way spirit says it can be a great thing to be able to be powerful enough to say i'm in, i'm there zoom and it's like you're zooming off i'm gonna write zooming off Look what's so cool, as I said, like I was doing this and I went, whoop. We have the same gesture being made by the magician, Gemini, Virgo here, Mercury energy, the magician. You have created and manifested a brand new timeline. You're manifesting success. For sure. You're manifesting success, my loves. This is a beautiful message. Let's get some more insight, Holy Spirit. I'm going to pull one card from here before we end this reading. Aquarius, I'm giving personal readings 50% off. Hit me up if you want one. I have like two more slots left. Thankfully to y'all, I booked out of most of my slots. And if requested, I'll open more slots. No worries. Just give me at least a week to get it back to you because I'm very busy and my birthday's tomorrow. So I got to enjoy that too, right? That was on me because I was shuffling it pretty quick. Fall into my arms. It's a surrender. This is the second time you get the word surrender. Wow. It says surrender, literally. Let me see. Let's see if you can see it there. There you go. It's a surrender, literally. It says surrender, holding the opposites, extremes of life. So this is giving me water bearer energy. You are tempering at the same time, so you definitely could be in a Sagittarius element, right? Of tempering your emotions, understanding what is going on at this time. How can I move forward in a very clear and smooth way? I am getting this energy that some of you could feel a little engulfed in your emotions. But Spirit says this is a powerful thing. It is not a bad thing to be engulfed in your emotions. If you are able and willing to swim through them, you will be guided to... to move through it with grace my 
my phone literally said low battery so that's definitely significant you could be feeling very low in energy this is because you're picking up on a lot people don't know this about aquarius placements y'all are extremely intuitive you're literally one of the oldest signs and you're the oldest air sign energy meaning you carry a lot of wisdom just because you hold the water doesn't mean that you don't know it feel it and drink it it's just you're able to observe it a lot more easier than most people. It's just what I'm getting here. It says, you got the love. Hadarian energy, codependency, and boundaries. Anything attached to you at this time, you're using the level of detachment you have gained through this reality to break free. That's your message today. I love y'all so much. Have a great rest of your Capricorn season. And I'm going to be going in on these Aquarius readings for y'all moving forward into Aquarius season. Saturn's got something beautiful for you. Keep working. Trust me.